This is a Lamborghini Gallardo, one with some very fancy bonnet stripes. But what's interesting about this particular car is this little badge down here, LP 550-2, which means this is the first rear-wheel drive Lamborghini for over 10 years. Now, officially, this is the LP 552 Valentino Balboni, named after Lamborghini's legendary test driver, the man responsible for the Mura Countach Diablo, and of course, this car. And this, this is retirement present. Now, we could debate why Lamborghini, after years of saying that all-wheel drive was core to their brand DNA, have done a complete U-turn and produced this rear-wheel drive car. But I think the more interesting thing to do is go to a track and just find out just how much fun a 550 brake horsepower rear wheel drive Lamborghini can be. The answer, loads of fun, absolutely fantastic. Woo! And it sounds mega, absolutely mega. But I guess it goes without saying that on a runway with somebody else paying for the tyres, it's gonna be a real hoot. Question I'm interested in, out on the road, will I be able to tell that this is a two-wheel drive Lamborghini? And here's the thing, you can actually tell it's rear-wheel drive just from driving along the road. The steering is lighter with more feel and the whole car is more exciting to drive and more agile. The bad news is the Balboni costs £163,000, which is more than the regular Gallardo, and they're only going to make 250 examples. The better news though is, having set the precedent with this car, I reckon we're likely to see more rear-drive Lamborghinis in the future.